Pittsburgh is not just about tasting, it's about teaching. We found a young group of ambitious culinary artists ready to take over the food scene. And they're homegrown right here in Pittsburgh. And I got a special look inside their classroom. Well, in this case, it's a state of the art chef's kitchen. The Taste of Art restaurant was actually named a best kept secret in Pittsburgh Magazine's best restaurant issue. Now, the Art Institute is nourishing the future. I have to go. In this kitchen, the heat is on. Each semester, students at the International Culinary School open a real restaurant for lunch on the top floor of the Art Institute. Everyone's pretty nervous. We're trying to act calm like we know what we're doing. The pressure is building right now because they're counting down the minutes to opening day. We join them. Day one, we open literally in less than two hours. Um, we're still tweaking recipes. These are the dumplings that were made. Professor Roger Levine heads up this culinary class. It's a place where Pittsburghers can get good food at great prices. I'm doing a pineapple cake. But it's mainly a chance for future chefs to get some practical experience. I looked at a couple other schools out of state, but as soon as I heard about the Art Institute and like came here and toured, I was like, this is where I want to go. I have to go to this school. Kimberly wants to open a cafe in downtown Pittsburgh aimed at the college crowd. A lot of pressure on everybody. Aaliyah wants to open a cake shop eventually. But right now, She's just focused on this moment. It's kind of nerve wracking because we're running around the kitchen trying to get everything together to make sure everything's perfect. What do you have about an hour? Yeah, and then about you have an hour to and be ready. Yeah. Nope, they got it. We'll get it though. Yeah, it's gonna be good. Once we get everything set up, it'll just be bang, bang, bang. The restaurant is called A Taste of Art. Seating starts at 11:15 on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday only, and you must get a seat before 12:30 to be served. Last semester we sold out about a third of the days. We had to turn people away. So reservations but we can, they can get to go. Re reservations recommended. It's gaining in popularity, especially after being named one of our best kept secrets in Pittsburgh Magazine's Reader's Poll. This semester, the focus is on Taiwanese food, and the most expensive thing on the menu is just $7.50. Plus, there's a pastry cart out front to tempt you with some sweets, a place students can add their own flavor to Pittsburgh. The food scene in Pittsburgh in the last five to ten years is just. Taken off, and it's really exciting. As for this particular food scene on this particular opening day, things went smoothly, putting these students one step closer to joining the professional chefs. Still ahead on Chronicle. Can you feed me for $10? Yeah, absolutely. I can get a meal for under $10. Sure, absolutely. They say there's no such thing as a free lunch, but a cheap lunch? You bet. Reporter Sheldon Ingram shows us Pittsburgh's best eats when you're on a tight budget.